Riot denies it, and logically I'm inclined to believe them, but to me it will always feel like KDA Seraphine came first, and Rune Terra Seraphine was created to justify the cross-promotional skin. I will say, though, KDA Seraphine is, on paper, a pretty damn compelling idea. A skin in three parts telling the story of a passionate ingenue who, through hard work and dedication, hones her craft, and is discovered by one of the most influential pop divas in the industry who takes her under her wing and crafts her into a fully-fledged pop star. Movies have been made about this kind of story, it's a cool idea. And so KDA Seraphine is split into three skins, Indie, Rising Star, and Superstar, representing phases of her career. And I really do quite like Indie, with its fairy lights and acoustic guitar Instagram coziness, and I do like Superstar, with its immaculate and almost inhuman crystal prestige and perfection. But alas, Rising Star, the awkward middle child stuck between two strong concepts with no strong concept of its own. Even its color scheme is an awkward halfway mix of its better sisters, and so neither fancy enough to be impressive nor earnest enough to be adorable, it might, to be fair, be the perfect skin to represent the part of a pop star's career that would usually be skipped with a montage in the biopic. Subscribe to this channel for shorts, or see my main channel for longer in-depth videos.